cold water guy. The resort must have put chlorine in today. I can smell the chlorine. Sorry? The resort must have put chlorine into the water today. Oh yeah, so guys, cold water. Best thing for you. Feel so strong. So guys, cold water exposure, like the Wim Hof method. The famous guy, the Wim Hof guy. So yeah, after the gym, any kind of um, extreme cold or extreme heat. What you, I usually do, I usually have a cold shower. I go straight to the sauna or steam room, but here we have a jacuzzi. Uh, backwards in England are, um, you know, USA used to have a song steam, but the cold pool is the best. When I was living in Rio de Janeiro, I go into, I dip in the pool all the time. I never wait more than, um, I think it's more than uh, 10 minutes. Don't wait for more than 10 minutes because like the sweat will dry off you then. Just like go straight in the pool. Obviously it's cold and uh, so you've got to breathe in. You've got to do, just count to three, one, two, three, and then go straight in. The first split second is uncomfortable, but after that you feel, you feel, you feel so alive, you feel so happy. I mean, same with um, a cold shower. Um, every single day, I, I hate having cold showers. I hate waking up in the morning and having, oh, I've got a cold shower and you got to breathe and you got to temp yourself. But here, like I said to my uncle, I said, just, um, I sometimes have a hot water and then the last few seconds I have cold showers and I go, <laughs> but I always feel amazing afterwards. I feel amazing. And uh, yeah, it wakes you up. Because it shocks your body. Anything that shocks your body like that wakes you up. It boosts your metabolism, it uh, tightens your skin. Um, you know, it makes all your blood flow through your arteries. Once your blood starts flowing, that's it. You know, it cleanses all your arteries. So, it boosts the blood flow through all your arteries and it gets your blood, wakes you up. And that's what you need. Blood, blood flow is the best thing. Uh, it kills depression, it's good for the body and the mind. When I was in Rio de Janeiro, I had the sea. Um, and obviously, the sea, as I keep saying, if you see me Instagram post, I say that the sea is good for absolutely everything. Anything to do with nature, if you're ingesting it, sure, even like what I mean by ingesting nature, fruits, vegetables, you know, stuff in the ground, stuff in, stuff in the earth, you know, the, uh, the sea, and the sea is number one because the sea has all the sea moss and everything from the ground. Like sea moss is the number one superfood in the world, I think. It has 90% of the body's nutrients that you need. And yeah, the sea cures absolutely everything. Like every single, I mean, I used to like here a bit frustrated when the gym, like I used to go to the gym, like I used to be so, ah, oh, I'm so angry, I'm so angry, I need to go to the gym, I need to do this. But, even when I walk into the gym in Rio de Janeiro, I used to just breathe and just look at the, the sound of the sea and just feel like really at peace. Because anything to do with nature is full of negative ions, which uh, cures the whole body, you know, it cures depression. It's good for the, you know, it's proved by scientists that um, they have two sub test subjects. They put one in the mountains, uh, like I would count in the mountains, or you know, somewhere by the beach, somewhere where there's nature, nature at its finest. And I think the beach is nature, it's wild, it's the sand, the sea. Especially in Rio de Janeiro, you have the mountains. And they had one person with cancer who lived in like a polluted city, you know, polluted city environment, far from nature, you know, um, you know, city life, you know, always on a blue, always on a screen, you know, ingesting fast food and uh, polluted food and you know, no cold water like this. So yeah. Ooh, nice. Anything shocks your body. And uh, yeah, and if you find out the guy that was next to nature, he cured his cancer ten times faster. And the other guy, his cancer grew. So yeah guys, all we need is nature. I mean, God, universe, whatever you want to believe in, nature was given to us since the beginning of time. It's the one thing that helps us, so yeah. Cold water exposure, and, and this is what people did. In the caveman times, they shocked their body to wake themselves up. They had to be at one with the elements, and they got used to the cold water. They became numb to the, they became strong to the, the hard ground. They had their feet touching the ground. And like, you see Brazilians, they have, I wait, like a lot of Brazilians, they used to, like a, I went out with a Brazilian girl in Ipanema, um, and she, she said she used to grow up as a kid and she used to go climbing trees for coconuts and a lot of Brazilian kids did, did that and they're, they're so strong and they're so happy and so beautiful, naturally beautiful. Um, like they don't wear makeup. Have you, seen, have you ever seen a Brazilian wear makeup? They look kind of wrong well, without makeup. They, they look ten times more beautiful because they have nature, they feel happy and they, you know, they have strength to be, you know, be promiscuous, be have sex, you know, and, you know, the things that give life meaning and life fire that life you know um you know or else you know you're just living for money you're just living for work you're just living for a job and it doesn't mean anything you know like a lot of people do and that's why they're so miserable that's why you see people by the beach in miami la or Rio de Janeiro. they all look beautiful like naturally beautiful and they're so happy as well because so yeah shock your body guys because they they used to shock in their body from the cold sea 
the mountains and it wakes them up, you know, and that gives them life and they're kind of they're kind of numb to it. They, it gives them life now. Whereas we, we we think about cold water, we're like, oh no, cold water, cold water. But actually after the first few seconds you actually realize, oh it's amazing. So yeah. Obviously it doesn't have to be freezing, you know, this isn't freezing, this is not normal. Um, so yeah, cold water, anything shocks your body, nature, we need to get back to nature guys, because this is just trust me, it makes you ten times better at everything, sex, life, energy, any kind of sport. And to achieve dreams like when I was in Rio de Janeiro, you just you just had no fear, no fear of anything. Um, whereas in your city you have fear and you have you know, it's just full of, you know, indoctrination, you know, get a job, do this, do this, buy from me, buy from this. That's all consumers and it's proved by scientists that um, they have two sub test subjects. They put one in the mountains, uh, like I can say in the mountains or you know, somewhere by the beach, somewhere where there's nature, nature at its finest. And I think the beach is nature, it's wild, it's the sand, the sea, especially in Rio de Janeiro, you have the mountains. And they had one person, a cancer, who lived in like a polluted city, you know, polluted city environment, far from nature, you know, um, you know, city life, you know, always on a always on a screen, you know, ingesting fast food and uh, polluted food and you know, no cold water like this. So yeah. Ooh, even that, just anything that shocks your body. So, and uh, yeah, and if you find out the guy that was next to nature, he cured his cancer ten times faster. And the other guy, his cancer grew. So yeah guys, all we need is nature. I mean God, universe, whatever you want to believe in, nature was given to us since the beginning of time. It's the one thing that helps us, so yeah. Cold water exposure, and, and this is what people did in the caveman times, they shocked their body to wake themselves up. You had to be at one with the elements and they got used to the cold water. They became numb to the, they became strong to the, the hard ground. They had feet touching the ground and like, see Brazilians, they have, I wait, like a lot of Brazilians, they used to, like uh, I went out with a Brazilian girl in Ipanema. Um, and she, she said she used to grow up as a kid and she used to go climbing for trees for coconuts. And a lot of Brazilian kids did, did that. And they're, they're so strong and they're so happy and so, Beautiful, naturally beautiful. Um, like they don't wear makeup. Have you, seen, have you ever seen a Brazilian wear makeup? They look kind of wrong. Well, without makeup, they look ten times more beautiful because they have nature. They feel happy, and they, you know, they have strength to be, you know, be promiscuous, be have sex, you know, and you know the things that give life meaning, life fire, that life, you know, um, you know, or else you know, you're just living for money, you're just living for work, you're just living for a job, and it doesn't mean anything. You know, like a lot of people do. And that's why they're so miserable. That's why you see people by the beach in Miami, LA, or Rio de Janeiro. They all look beautiful, like naturally beautiful, and they're so happy as well. Because so yeah, shock your body, guys. Because and they they used to shock in their body from the cold sea, the mountains, and it wakes them up, you know, and that gives them life. And they're kind of they're kind of numb to it. They, it gives them life now. Where we 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 think about cold water, we're like, oh no, cold water, cold water. But actually, after the first few seconds, you actually realize, oh, it's amazing. So yeah, obviously, it doesn't have to be freezing. You know, this isn't freezing. This is not normal. So yeah, cold water, anything shocks your body, nature, we need to get back to nature guys, because this is just, trust me, it makes you 10 times better at everything, sex, life, energy, any kind of sport, and to achieve dreams, like when I was in Rio de Janeiro, you just, you just had no fear, no fear of anything, um, whereas in your city you have fear, and you have, you know, it's just full of, you know, indoctrination, you know, get a job, do this, do this, buy from me, buy from this, that's all consumerism to get people to be, you know, sick and poorly in consumers. So, yeah. Okay, guys, I'll take it again. It all comes from the um because I was uh, I was butterfly champion from the ages of uh, from high school, from ages of 13, 14, 15. And uh, people always thought, why, why are you so good at butterfly? Why are you so good at butterfly? Because it all comes from the strong core, it all comes from the, the stomach. Because um, I realised I was doing sit up by the age of like nine. <laughs> I didn't even realise why I was so good at butterfly. And that's because when your body, when you move, you move like that, that kind of motion. That's why they call it butterfly, because you're moving like that, like a butterfly, really. And yeah, so yeah, you've got to have a strong core, because all power comes from the core, even boxing or even kickboxing. When you, um, when you throw a punch, you do this, or you default kick, all power, all the source comes from the core on the hips. So it's like an electric shock all the way from the bottom of the, the toe, all the way up. All the way, and you start, all the, it comes here in the core, and then you snap. It's all the snap from the core. 
all like all the flag movement and even everything you can think of. Well, especially the butterfly, because I mean, front crawl is different because you do front crawl, it's all you know, your whole body is kept straight. Back stroke, your whole body is kept straight, even instead of breast stroke, breast stroke, you kind of come up with your shoulders a bit like that. But butterfly, your whole body is moving like that, like a, like a worm. If you think these um, these dancers, like uh, the receiver break dancers, they do the worm like that, it's all like that, it's all it comes from the, uh, the core. So yeah, if you come up and you do that, so you, when, you, when you do that with your body, and your body it comes up, your whole shoulders, and then you come down, you do that. If you see the, um, once you dive off, once you hold on, and they blow the whistle, and you dive in, you see the butterflies, uh, the butterfly swimming in the water, and they're moving like that, the whole body's like, it's like a whip. The same thing with boxing, kickboxing, your whole body is like a whip. So you, uh, so yeah, like I said, the whole body comes from the foot. It's like electric shock. It comes from the bottom of your mouth, from your toe, all the way up, your whole body. Like, like a whip. So boxing, kickboxing, butterfly, it's all the same. Your whole body is like a whip. So yeah, do this. That kind of motion, up and down. So yeah, but all, it all comes from the core. If you don't have a strong core, obviously, you can't move your body like that. Because all power, all movement comes from the core. If you have um, a strong core, you have great, great movement over your body. You have great movement over your body. You see me parkour, gymnastics, everything. All power, all source comes from the, uh, the core. So yeah, just like, I remember when I was like 10 years old, 11 years old, I used to just be doing sit-ups every day. Just for, just for the sake of it, just uh, for swimming. I mean, I was, I was probably the, probably the worst person ever to be good in swimming. I mean, I was born with asthma. I was born with, um, my mum's umbilical cord was around my neck. And I was in the hospital for the first um, three years of my life. And the doctor said, if you want, to, if you want him to get rid of asthma, just uh, get him to swim. So my mum, from the ages of uh, three, I was three months old, and my mum just literally threw me in the pool. And then uh, see if I could survive or not. Obviously, there are teachers around to help me out. And uh, since then, and now I've got like the best I don't want to be, you know, the best one probably for anyone in my age group, but in, especially in college or high school, half through high school, I represent my high school in Butterfly. And it's a very good stroke because many people are good at it. Nobody's good at Butterfly. No one wants to be good at Butterfly because people think, oh, it's too hard, it's too difficult. Everyone wants to do foot stroke because they think it's easy, but it's so much competition. So if you get a good, good core, if you build up a good core, and you learn how to do that movement, the, uh, that movement, like the Butterfly movement, then you'll go fire butterfly because no one wants to do butterfly, no one's good at it at all. So yeah, if you can do that, you'll be part of the minority because yeah, like maybe yeah, a very small majority wants to do butterfly. So yeah, just oh, remember that movement, back and forward like a butterfly with the wings. And uh, yeah, build up a strong core, do sit ups, probably like every other day, every day or every other day. Uh, yeah, like when I was a kid, I just did sit ups. People are overcomplicated, people think you've got to do crunches, you've got to do leg raises, you've got to do this, you've got to do that. Yeah, that is good for your overall uh, core strength, but yeah, you overcomplicate it. You know, people are just, do say that just to get you to buy their program, just to get you to buy this, buy this, I, I'm very intelligent, that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's not overcomplicated, just sit ups, squats, and then uh, yeah, you move your body in this motion. Yeah. That movement and your whole body isn't stiff. People yeah. think of swimming, they think, oh, I'll do front crawl, I just need my arm like this. Oh, and they end up slapping like that. <laughs> it's not like that, your whole body is loose. Your whole body actually looks kind of loose. Like, uh, so yeah, learn to relax when you're doing swimming. You don't be so stiff, and uh, yeah, it should be great. I'll show you how to do it now. Just, like, just dive in here, the whistle goes off, you just. Yeah, it's that kind of motion, guys. So yeah. Ooh. So yeah, all power, all movement, all athletic movement, kickboxing, gymnastics, swimming, anything. All comes from the core, guys. If you build up a strong core, and you'll have total control and move, maneuverability, maneuverability. Yeah, over your uh, whole entire body. So yeah. That's it, guys. Cheers. <laughs> And you, you grab the 